In this scenario, we suspect a phase amplitude or phase angle is randomly changing, so we're going to measure the output of the three phases. The problem we'll be trying to solve happens randomly. So how do we capture that event? How will we know when to set up the oscilloscope and be sure we're watching when the event occurs? For that, we'll use the scope meter's recording capabilities to measure our key parameters over a long period of time and capture the event whenever it happens. For this test, we'll be using the previous setup to measure the amplitude of the three phases as well as the phase angle between input A and B. We have our inputs set up with channel A measuring the amplitude of phase A, channel B measuring phase B, and channel C measuring phase C. Our defined measurements are the amplitude on each of the three phases and the fourth input reading the phase angle between input A and B. In order to capture a random event, we'll use the function called recorder mode. In trend plot mode, you could capture or record events from as little as milliseconds up to 22 days. The oscilloscope will acquire the input signal, measure the values, and store the min-max values in memory, holding major event changes in record. When I invoke a change in the phase angle on the demonstration board, you can clearly see how the event is captured. These events may happen at any time. The trend plot mode will keep recording those measured values in a min-max mode for up to 22 days. Once you return to the scope meter, go back to recorder mode and press stop. To view the entire record, simply press the view all mode. Now you can look at the entire record across the width of the screen. Zoom in to look for the signal of interest. Here you can see how the oscilloscope has captured a phase angle change between phase A and B. And you can see the corresponding change in the amplitudes of input A and B. Without the ability to record those measured values over time, you would most likely miss the event that could be causing your problems.